Lesson 42, Perimeter and Area of Parallelograms. The perimeter is the distance around a polygon. To find the perimeter of any polygon, you add the lengths of all of its sides. Since the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal in length, you can find a formula for finding the perimeter of a parallelogram. P equals W plus L plus W plus L. When you use commutative property, you'll get W plus W plus L plus L. And then when you combine like terms, you get 2W plus 2L. Example 1. Find the perimeter of the figure. The figure is a rectangle with the width of 5 and a length of 14. So when we use the formula P equals 2W plus 2L, we plug in 5 for W and 14 for L, and we get 2 times 5 plus 2 times 14. When we multiply that together, we get 10 plus 28, and 10 plus 28 is 38 units. You could also find the perimeter by adding all the sides, which is 5 plus 14 plus 5 plus 14. Practice 1. Find the perimeter of the figure below. The width is 5, the length is 13. The area of a plane figure is the number of units squared needed to cover the figure. The base of the parallelogram is the length of one side, and the height is the perpendicular distance from the base to the opposite side. If you look down below, this is the base, and this is the height, and this is just the side. So for the area, we're only going to use the base and the height. Example 2. Graph and find the area of the figure with the given vertices. So first of all, we're going to graph these points, negative 1, negative 2, 2, negative 2, 2, 3, and negative 1, 3. When you do this and you connect the dots, you'll have a rectangle with a base of 3 and a height of of 5. So when we find the area, we're going to multiply the base times the height. So when we plug in the base for 3 and the height for 5, we get area equals 3 times 5. When you multiply 3 times 5, you get 15. So the area is going to be 15 units squared. If you also look on your graph, and you did on graph paper, you would be able to count 15 squares in this red section right here. Practice 2. Graph and find the area of the figure with the given vertices. 0, 0, 5, 0, 6, 4, and 1, 4. So first, graph these four points on a piece of graph paper and then connect the dots and find the base and the height of the figure and then find the area by multiplying the base times the height. Practice 3. Find the perimeter and area of the figure. In order to find the perimeter, we need to add up all the sides 
And if you notice, this side right here, we're missing. So the first thing you're going to need to do on this problem is find what the length of this side is. Once you find this length, then you can add all the sides together. To find the area, it's easier to break it into three parts. And in these three parts, there are three rectangles. One, two, and three. If you find the area of each of these rectangles individually, and then add the three rectangles areas up together, you'll find the total area of all three rectangles.